Um, I call on Councillor Black to answer question seven from Councillor Wormsley relating to business grants for business, businesses impacted by the lockdown. Councillor Black. Thank you, Mr Mayor, and thank you, Councillor Wormsley, for this question. The Government has announced new measures to continue to support businesses operating under Tier 2 and Tier 3 restrictions and further packages as we went into the second national lockdown. The support is complex. I won't go into the detail here. There are five levels of support for the periods of restriction and lockdown. Our officers have been working to ensure eligible businesses receive the grant funding as soon as possible. The business rates team have been working to make payments this week to businesses on the local rating list. The local restrictions support grant is now live on Berry Council's website for any business that wants to apply. In addition, 60 million of this additional restrictions grant, ARG, is available across GM authorities to allow some discretion to support businesses that fall out of the supports available through the rates team. However, this funding, and very share of that funding is £4 million, has to last for two years, until March 2022. So the government has said that there will be no further local discretionary payments. So obviously we have to do some juggling about what we might need further down the line. I'd like to echo the leader's earlier comments about the value of Ferry's businesses. It is a priority to support local businesses that are crucial to our economy and to Barry's future recovery. And we've all seen businesses in our wards, in our areas, working their socks off in the current situation and adapting to whatever requirements are coming down their way. Officers are working up the local scheme for the discretionary element of the grant based on government guidance. I'm aware of how hard our team of staff are working and I wish to thank them again here. So Berry worked at pace to allocate grants during the first lockdown and has done since. We paid out the initial discretionary grants. We ensured that a wide spectrum of businesses were financially supported. We've also signposted people to organizations who can help them plan their recovery or even adapt their business model during the crisis. Can I encourage members to also encourage businesses to sign up for Barry's weekly e-business bulletin, which is one of the quickest ways they can continue to get up-to-date messages. Thank you, Councillor Black. Uh, Councillor Wormsley, do you have a supplementary? Uh, yes, please, Mr Mayor. Uh, thanks, Councillor Black, for answering that. I just wondered um, if Councillor Black could confirm what support measures the council is offering to people who are self-employed who don't uh, meet the criteria for the business grants. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Black. Thank you, Councillor Wormsley, for that supplementary. It is good that the government has improved its support for self-employed people so many of whom have had a significant reduction in trading profits this year. I have to say this came after pressure and lobbying from small businesses themselves, from trade unions and from others. The new SEIS, or double S I think, the Self-Employment Income Support Scheme is available from November the 30th to run from November the 1st to January the 1st. Little bit of detail, this could be worth up to 7,500 for a business. It would be made up of 80% of three months of average monthly trading. Profits capped at 2,500 per month. And this is higher than the first two rounds of support. But there is a lot more detail than that uh, for businesses to, to look into uh, with our support. Eligibility is tighter this time around. Businesses need to show a significant reduction in their trading profits and they must intend to continue to trade. We know we will hear from many self-employed residents who may sadly not all be eligible for that scheme. We will signpost them to information about eligibility and to a programme called Enterprising You, which is a GM funded programme for the self-employed. 
and I had a look at their website, it's really full of useful information. They can also, only if they wish, contact Employ GM to look at options for alternative employment until they can restart their businesses. Some self-employed residents will be eligible for the local restrictions grant and the additional restrictions grant, for example, some of the market traders. So finally, after pressure from trade unions and small businesses, the government has also extended the universal credit allowance, which was due to run out in mid-November until April next year. Business support team in Berry is here to help businesses if they are unclear about what they are eligible for and where to go for help.